Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Batman will do anything for love, but he won't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, he won't. He won't go down to the back. But he cave. was going to do that. But DC says he's not allowed to do DC that. DC stopped it. Yeah. If you guys haven't heard, and I don't know if this video is even going to be monetized, uh, DC Comics stopped Batman from going down on Catwoman in the Harley Quinn cartoon. <laughs> I honestly like, thought when I saw the, the headline, I was thinking they were going to stop Harley Quinn from going, going down, down on somebody in yeah. the cartoon, honestly. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about that. And it's all about the toys. It's all about the toys. It would hurt toy sales if, if Batman... Wait, wait. We're gonna, it's going to hurt toy sales on our R-rated cartoon. On our R-rated cartoon. We've already seen Batman's dick in the comics. Wait, wait, wait. So we can't do that because heroes wouldn't do that. Heroes oh, wouldn't. I think a lot of women would beg to differ. <laughs> Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 198,000 subs. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the support, guys. It's appreciated. Uh, cruising to 200,000. Uh, yeah, so the memes are glorious. <laughs> they are beautiful. Batman doesn't go down without a fight, right? Without a fight, right? <laughs> oh, God. So here's the, here's the news. This is what happened. Harley Quinn creators say DC won't let Batman go down on Catwoman. It's hard to sell a toy if Batman is also going down on someone. People who are watching the R-rated animated series probably are, are not the target audience for the toys, I'm guessing. And if that is the case, then don't make an R-rated cartoon series. Speaking with Variety for an unrelated purpose, credit to Variety for resisting the impulse to make the entire interview about this. Amen. Harley Quinn co-creators Justin Halpern and Patrick Schumacher revealed that DC has given them a ton of leeway in terms of what they can do with Harley and her villainous friends, but they were told you absolutely cannot do that when they tried to include a scene in the show's third season that involved Batman and Catwoman having sex. Here's the full quote, because anything else won't do it justice. Okay, I'll, I haven't read this yet, so I'll, 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 okay, go ahead. We had a moment where Batman was going down on Catwoman. I just say it, as a matter of fact. And DC was like, you can't do that. You absolutely cannot do that. They're like, heroes don't do that. One of it. So we said, are you saying heroes are just selfish lovers? They were like, no. It's that we sell consumer toys for heroes. It's hard to sell a toy if Batman is also going down on someone. Oh. Okay. Like I said, women disagree. But anyway. So. But the Joker? <laughs> He's going to make you smile everywhere. Uh, is this the most absurd objection one of these comic book publishers has ever had to something? Probably not. Certainly up there. It's so weird because DC, they keep pushing it, you know? Push it, push it. They have Batman's ding dong in a Batman comic. I just, I, I just think this whole thing is funny. I mean, okay. For an animated show, I, I was like, wait, why would they even do that on an animated show anyway? Because, I mean, there's word for those in Japan, you know. But their, their logic that it because it won't sell toys is what amuses me the most. Maybe you're selling the wrong kinds of toys. I'm just saying. Uh, this one was funny. I saw this earlier. I didn't know what was going on. Now it makes complete sense. I'm sorry, Catwoman. Heroes don't do that. We must keep our hands clean. Oh, man. A gentleman, however, knows that his hands aren't the only tools in his belt. <laughs> you know what that meant this morning. Now I know. Where's my GD orgasm, Bruce? Heroes don't do that, Selena. <laughs> He's been punched in the face. It's because he didn't do what she wanted. Now, which Batman does and which Batman doesn't? Absolutely not. No. Yes. Says he does, but doesn't. Doesn't, but expects it for himself. Like it's his job. Yes, but doesn't want to. <laughs> he doesn't look like a guy. Now, ironically, this is the Batman who knocked up the Catwoman. <laughs> Allegedly. He wasn't using his face for that, but... <laughs> I'm glad you, you clarified that. Bad a wang. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That is that is what's going on with this. I was like, oh my god, and everybody's covering it. This New York Post. 
creators of animated Harley Quinn series had to axe this R-rated Batman Catwoman scene. They didn't put it in the headline. Yeah, it was oh, yeah, because their advertisers would be like, what are you doing? Heroes don't do that, guys. Uh, coming soon. <laughs> coming no. soon? <laughs> nope. No, you are not. No, you are not. Comingsoon.net. Oh Harley God. Quinn season three, Batman and Catwoman sex scene removed by DC. <laughs> she is very unhappy. Oh. He doesn't look very happy either. No. See, that's the only way you can make him smile. <laughs> anyway, so that is what's going on uh, with uh, uh, Batman. Yeah, I at first thought it was Harley Quinn wasn't allowed to, to go to... Kitty town. Or, or, you know, she wasn't allowed to, like, you know, partake of a catnip or whatever. <laughs> but it's Batman. It's Batman. I thought it was going to be, like, a Poison Ivy, a Harley Quinn thing. I didn't know, because I didn't know what cat what was Catwoman. I just thought that they couldn't, you couldn't do that in the Harley Quinn show. And I was like... Who's doing what? Is it like a is it like a her and, and and you know poison ivy thing? You know. Well, obviously there's something going on there. Uh, there is, but yeah, I I don't know. It's so weird. Like, yeah, we're gonna do R rated. We just can't we can't talk about that. I just think it's kind of weird that they were gonna put that in a cartoon though. I mean, I, I get it's an R rated animated series, but I'm still like, you're not selling toys from the Harley Quinn R rated series. This is like. They need to decide. I know what they are and what they want. That was like, I was joking. We went to the store and by God, they have Imagine Next Harley Quinn figures, right? Mm -hmm. But the Harley Quinn wasn't based on the Harley Quinn from the comics or the superhero girls. It was based on Birds of Prey. They had a Harley Quinn and Black Mask two pack uh, at Walmart. Oh yes, I remember that. And I'm like, these are for like the three to five year old range. Yeah, but then, so they have that, right? But then Killer Croc, they can't even call him Killer Croc on the packaging. They call him K Croc. Mm hmm, because that's too, that's too scary. It sounds like a rapper. But like I said, you know, you could totally sell toys. This is going to be a different demographic and different kind of toy. You can use, you can make, you can, you know, do like, you know, a different type of, of Imagine Next. <laughs> it's Imagine Next. And then it's, 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 it's something else. There yeah. you got your Batawangs. Bad wangs. Uh, but they yeah. sell like hotcakes. Licensing opportunities abound, DC. You just have to free your mind. That's right. Uh, I, I just I don't understand this. It's like we're gonna we're gonna take these characters into R-rated territory uh, already, but we want to sell toys. <laughs> I I don't even ask questions anymore. Just I just I'm too busy being amused by all the memes and laughing my ass off about that. So all right, we're gonna wrap this up. <laughs> yes. There's nothing left to say. It's uh, funny as heck. Unhappy ending for, for Catwoman. <laughs> and if you go look at the, if you go look at the memes, the memes are glorious. Yeah, she's 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 going to turn back to a life of crime. Right, because um, that's what stops you from, you know, from being a criminal. It does. I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be good. Okay, I have so many things I can say right now, but I'll be good. All right, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. I feel like hitting those 7-Eleven and knocking it off. What are you gonna do about it? I have to do what a hero has to do. <laughs>